What's up everyone? Welcome back to Hollow Knight. This is episode 3. Uh, well, if I was going to be proper, it's Hollow Knight Void Heart Edition, but I don't think that matters. This is episode 3. Uh, sorry that the episodes have been infrequent, you know. Thing is, I was traveling most of last week. And this week, you know, I was streaming. Well... Should have been streaming more. I was supposed to be streaming today, but you know, it's fucking winter, man. Like, winter, so much shit goes... Whoa, I did not mean to do that. Uh, so much shit goes wrong. Uh, for example, yesterday, it took me almost two hours to get home. I live like eight kilometers from my workplace. So, yeah, just picture that. Just picture that. That's how bad it was. So, you know... Sometimes, like, recording and all that in winter is a little bit... There's less motivation, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to, you know, keep a consistent schedule. It's just how it is, but we are back with Hollow Knight here. Uh, I promised in the last episode that we would look at these uh, caves, I think. That's what we were talking about. I spoke to the bug in the last episode, but then again, I guess everybody's a bug in this game. People have said... That this game is gonna get a lot more difficult. Uh, which got me intrigued, I'm not gonna lie. Which got me intrigued. Because... Well, I'm guessing they're gonna be introducing more mechanics because... So far the game seems pretty simple, but... I'm guessing that's not how it's gonna be. There's also supposed to be like DLC. Which is... Apparently not the easiest. I don't think I should fall down there. If I don't have any other choice. Okay. Am I already stuck? We are literally the second screen in. You don't have a map for this area. Well, guess I don't. What I'm trying to do is like... Trying to figure out how the hell we're going to break this. It's not breaking. Two options here. Either I'm stupid, which is very possible. Or you need something else. It's very possible that you need some other ability uh, to unlock that path. So I don't know. I guess the place to go from what I've seen, is that green path area. Like, I was making progress in that place. So, if I had to hazard a guess, as they say, we probably gotta go that way. We'll check it out. I mean, if we get stuck there, then we're gonna have a problem. Okay, just straight across. Then we're gonna have a problem. Oh, shit. There was a series of bad... You know, just like events. But hey, whatever. So we're back with Hollow Knight. Anyways, <coughs> that's something I've said like the third time now. Uh, why am I doing so badly? I don't know. So as I was explaining earlier, unfortunately, it's proper winter now here. Which is real. But I think I missed that completely. Which is real bad. I mean, I'm. I don't hate winter that much, but. It's not my favorite either. We got snow for the first time. Oh shit, there's an enemy. I'm about to die. Why am I playing so badly? I'm about to die. So we got snow for the first time yesterday. December 1st rolls around, snow immediately. I was pretty shook. And it was like major snow as well. Uh, some people who were honestly not well prepared still had their summer tires, even among my friends. Which is not... That's not fun. You know. I was well prepared though. I'm not gonna lie. Ain't gonna catch me off guard with that snow shit. I 
I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I was just about to say, what are the chances that I'm going to fall off like an idiot? Of course I'm going to fall off like an idiot. But hey. Really, it's the thing about winter is more about the dark. That it gets dark so early. It's the part I hate. You know, I wish I could like change my schedule so that I got home and it was still light. Oh yeah, and that's the thing. I just saw on my PC a notification pop-up for my emails. Somebody, some shitty company pro- oh, that was close. Some shitty company probably is going around and copyright claiming every single one of my old Dark Souls videos. Which is fucking crazy. Like the, the really old ones. Uh, Dark Souls 3 especially. What does this do? Okay. What the hell is that? Oh fuck. Okay. I think they pulled the same thing in Blasphemous, right? Wasn't there an enemy that did almost exactly the same thing? Kind of like exploding like that. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah, somebody's going around, yeah, copyright claiming all my old Dark Souls 3 shit. It's really weird, man. I checked it. It's like some random Italian company. So it's not like the official music like group or l I don't know if the music made for like a Dark Souls game would it's not even under a label but you know it's not like anything official looking which is classic YouTube copyright you know your video just gets claimed by some rando the only reason I don't mind I thought I was out of range for that the only reason I don't mind is first of all those are old videos second of all if nothing else, YouTube lately is pretty good at lifting these copyright uh, claims, these types of copyright claims. But it's really annoying still, like, you know. I don't know what the plan is with these companies. I guess the idea is that, you know, you cast a wide net of copywriting, whatever you can, and then some of it is gonna stick eventually, because... I'm gonna go and dispute them, but probably there are quite a few people. Oh, sh okay, 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 that respawns. Probably there are quite a few people out there who would not go and dispute it, and I think that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff this company is looking for. Uh, you know, they can copyright a lot of videos, even if those videos are older and they get maybe like a couple of views per week. You know, casting such a wide net would probably still be beneficial. It's really, like... YouTube is never going to fix its copyright system. Uh, it's just how fucked up it is. Speaking of fucked up, you know, this COPA stuff as well. I was reading up on it more. You know, I was an idiot. I will admit. First, I was defending YouTube. I'm like, yeah, it's a legal decision. Like, what can they do? Yeah, you know, YouTube, they gotta comply. But then I looked more into it. These fuckers, the only reason any of this COPA stuff is getting enforced or is being changed the way it is, where you have to mark each video as for kids or not for kids and for kids videos. Oh, hello. Okay. I fell off. I don't know who the hell that was. Looked like us. And that 4Kids videos are gonna have like no monetization on it and all that. Or no subscribe button and shit. Is because YouTube doesn't want to stop collecting data on kids. And this is their shitty workaround. Because you know the EU... Or I, I don't know if... It was not an EU ruling. It was a US ruling was that... You gotta stop collecting data on kids. You know and targeting adver advertisements to them. Fuck, I missed it. Which I completely agree with, you know. Like, you know, targeted ad ads for uh, kids is pretty fucked up when you think about it. But, you know, the court was like, yeah, just, just stop that. And YouTube is like, nope. Instead, we're gonna find some shitty legal workaround and uh, ruin the platform for many people. Just so that we can continue our... Oh, there's... Shit. 
Just wanted to see if there's anything there, but there isn't. We just want to continue our shitty little activities. Because, you know, like, even if I don't agree with... Not don't agree. If I'm not a fan of the type of content, i.e. family vlogging channels. You know, those channels, I think, still have... Kind of like a right to exist, you know. Clearly, there's a market for that type of content. So why shouldn't those people be able to prosper? You know, that's my view. And that's the real, you know, like, fucked up thing about YouTube. It always has been. In that... Oh, do you gotta, like... Okay. I overthought that. I thought you had to, like, jump midair. Whatever. Uh, That's a fucked up thing about YouTube and always has been. Is that it can literally take away your whole income from, like, one day to the next. Like, I remember when YouTube killed animation, like, animated content back in, like, what was it, like, 09, 08? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. You know, there were a ton of big animators on YouTube. And from one day to the next, their whole method of making money, earning money on YouTube, bam, gone. And now this Copa stuff is doing the same with these family vlogging channels. That's what I was wanting. I knew it. I knew you'd be able to crush. And it was with the log. I was... Like, I was 100% certain. I like this area though. It reminds me of... What is that first area in Metroid Fusion called? Oh, shortcut. Nice. You know which one I'm talking about. I always have Metroid Fusion on my mind, or a lot of times, because that's actually the first Metroid that I played. Uh, it's like... I have a special attachment to it. I think Christmas... Oh... Two, I think? When did the Game Boy Advance come out? I don't know, Christmas O2 or O3. I got my Game Boy Advance SP, not the shitty uh, normal one without any backlighting, and that was truly the shit. And I had Metroid, Metroid Fusion on it, of course. That was the game. Then I got Zero Mission as well, which is good as well. Okay. I like the area, like, general level design of this game. It's very... Oh. The levels are, like, surprisingly intricate, you know. Excellent. Perfect. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Wanted to... Sure you can Hadoken that bitch. That's not sure you can. Why did I just attack? I don't even know if that's an enemy or not. It's instinctual. If I had to guess that chick is gonna be like our frenemy. You know, our rival who we are gonna have encounters with, but then she's gonna I don't know, do something heroic at the end and redeem herself. Oh shit, I walked right into that. If I had to guess, uh, as much as I know about story writing, you know, she looked like uh, Freya from FF9, though. Wait, wait, what the hell is happening to that? I knew that was a thing. I definitely did not just accidentally fall into a hole and turns out it's an area. What the hell is up with the FF7 remake? I don't even remember. Oh, Naisu. Naisu Bench. I don't even know when that thing is coming out. I've seen stuff on it, like... All over on YouTube. Even fucking Instagram has content on that. But... I don't know what the hell is going on. It's a turret. There's no way I can reach that. 
doesn't matter. When that game comes out, I will pick it up. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, shit. And this might be a little bit embarrassing to admit, but I've never actually played FF9. That's just an environmental hazard. I don't think you can attack that. Did I say FF9? Because I was talking about FF9 earlier. FF7, I've never played it. I know it's a classic, but I never, I just never got around to it. What the hell? Okay, I thought you could land on that thing. Never mind. It. Don't tell me that thing didn't look like something you could land on. There's no way you can make that, can you? See, I'm thinking that we're gonna unlock some double jump thing. There are so many areas. There was even that earlier area with the worm that I couldn't rescue. There's so many areas where... Oh, shit. It seems like you would need a double jump. And we don't have one, of course. Yeah, you don't need one. Just in general. Oh shit. Should we? I don't have a map. See, I would really like to get back to the main hub. And then I would... Oh. There's no way. Light source, maybe? I mean, this is... This is why I'm always thinking about stuff like... Shit. Stuff like this, because this is a Metroidvania, so... I'm assuming we'll be, like, unlocking... Abilities, you know. I can just rest at the... There is a rest point not too far away. That's why I'm always thinking that, you know, like, we're gonna get a double jump. That thing... You see, that's like a fucking homing missile. I'm always thinking, you know, double jumps, light source, whatever, just a bunch of shit that we could be getting and we might not even get. Whatever. You're like, holy shit. Nah, and I'm telling you, winter always gets me, like, always tired. I wouldn't say I'm depressed because I know people, like, that's an actual thing. People get, like, depressed during winter. Not like that, but... Not a fan. Was that an asshole thing to do? <coughs> Breaking the lights? Maybe. Give me this cash. Though you cannot avoid these things. Yes, you can. They give quite a bit of coin. <coughs> okay, now I'm coughing. I'm gonna, like, die by the end of this episode or something. If I'm not careful. Yeah, double jump. Oh, fuck. Is that even an enemy or just an environmental... Oh! Are you kidding me? That's what's in that thing? Awesome. Knew it. Genius. Use that short. I keep saying sure you can. Use that Hadoken. Or a sure you can if you're a Kuma. Hell yeah. I'm not even sure if that's worth it. I mean, just like a dinky little enemy. I'm using up all my shit. There she was. Maybe that's just a normal friend. Not a friend enemy. Probably 
probably shouldn't be touching the, the ceiling there. Oh! Fuck. Need like some control jumping here. Man, these environments look good. Uh, there's gonna be... All of these feel like... Places where you would need other abilities. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Can you make that jump? That's the question. Not even jumping. Doesn't look like it. Maybe you need the supposed double jump for that too. I'm interested in what they will give us. Let me just heal up. One thing I really like, I gotta command them, is this game's heal mechanic. This is a really, really good heal mechanic. Because it's not always like the micromanagement doesn't have to be as careful as in a Souls. But you still get to keep some level of like tactics and shit. Hmm. This very much feels like a side path. Very, very much. Yep. Before we go up there, let me just... These are annoying enemies. Super fast too. Where's the last one? There it is. If nothing else, it leads to cash. Which I really gotta spend. Wait, didn't I get this tool where you can like draw yourself a map? Or is that only after you buy like the base map or something? Probably only like that. Because the base map doesn't cover everything. This place is hella mazy. I know our that other character didn't run this way, obviously. And go for that full heal bitch. I just realized what I did. I should have jumped. I didn't connect the dots. Those lay lead to the same place. Oh, hello, respawning enemy. Never mind. This is what I wanted to do. Hell yeah. I mean, that is a lot of whatever this currency is. Does it even have a name? Hollow box. It's another type of fucking Bitcoin, isn't it? Or cryptocurrency. You know these bugs would be into crypto for sure. They'd be really annoying about it too. They would be that type of crypto. The irritating kind. I'm really playing like shit today. Oh, are you kidding? I fell so far down. Whatever. Whatever. 
Huh, huh, huh. What I would really appreciate, I feel like at this stage a bench would be very much a part of the playing field, or could be. But so far it ain't. My assumption is that going up, these areas would like loop into one another. This and I don't know what. Shit. It's not what I meant to do. Never mind. Oh man, this is such a maze. I've officially lost track of my position. Oh shit. Okay, question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much trouble am I in? No, don't heal like that. Okay. I thought I was in more trouble. I'm gonna be honest with you. That felt... That seemed like it was gonna be a lot more difficult than it actually was. Gonna play like a dickhead too. Please tell me this leads back to somewhere. It don't. Uh oh. I'm feeling nervous. Like all these areas are huge. Did you see how many this this is a boss arena? This is a boss. Doesn't feel bossish. I mean, it's a mini boss. It's just a larger version of this. Fuck, you're hard to hit. It's like the mosquito from Rayman 1. Oh yeah, I don't have an air version of the projectile. So I think I always forget. Okay, it did something. Hell. I'm like waiting for it to come to my level and immediately kill me. That did two points of damage, didn't it? God damn it. Thank you. All right. No abilities, nothing. Oh, it's still alive. Thought it was dead. Hello. Of course, that's what I would say as well. Zod the Mighty. He's pissed at us. Okay. I think I see what's going on here. He's like gonna be the old bumbling knight who's really stoic. That's my guess. Man, half an hour passes by quickly with this game actually. Super fun. The game, I mean. Platforming is apparently not my strong This is the most difficult thing I've done in this episode. Let's jump that platform. Okay. I just screwed that up majorly. Gotta go all the way back. We'll give it one more try. If I fall down, whatever. And then we will call it a day. I would still really appreciate a uh, bench. I don't know if this does this game does auto saves the way Souls does. As in, if I quit and reload, 
Would, would I still start from here? Or would it put me back into the last bench? That option I would not like. With the amount or the level of how lost I am, that would be, I think, pretty bad. Because I hella couldn't find my way back here. But there's more money. Always appreciated. Looks like this is just for money. Because from what I see... Yeah, we cannot make that. We definitely cannot make that. I'm going to have to heal. Alright, boys. I think what we're going to do here is slowly start making our way Super close. Way too close. Slowly gonna start making our way back after that mini boss. I'm guessing that's where we gotta go. I think I covered a lot of options here. There's still a ton left, but we did our best. We did our best. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Hollow Knight. Let me just see what's down here. We'll pick it up right from here. Hopefully this game this game must allow you to quit and reload. Like it's a souls clone, so it really should. It really should. Alright boys. I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. I did I pressed the wrong button. Thanks for watching. How much HP does he have? I'm nearly dead. I gotta heal again. Yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hollow Knight. And I hope to see all of you next time. Okay. You, you must have to like do something here. Anyways, peace out guys. Guys. That was boys and guys combined. Peace out. See you.